Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Boots. Good morning. This is what happened last night. I got a visit from my friend Mike from Mike's Lawn Service Babylon. As you guys know, I've known him for two, three years. He's been my uh, good buddy. He picks up stuff off the street. He's also the firefighter, and he's also the uh, guy that mows veterans' lawns for free. Anyway, he always brings me stuff. I, in turn, try to fix things for him, get his stuff going for free as well. So it's a quid pro quo kind of relationship. Anyway, uh, recently you've seen that uh, I've had some subscribers who have given me three or four things and the condition that I could keep those three or four things was that I would fix one of those things for them. So I've done that for Mike, I've done that for Robert from Holbrook, and then recently Mike's friend Pete, who also works at the firehouse with him, also a gun enthusiast, brought me over some stuff. He said I could keep everything except tune this one up for Pete. Pete bought this for $300 used uh, a year or so ago, and uh, he says it runs like crap. So uh, this starts and runs, but it just runs badly, and it needs a tune-up. So uh, while I'm just filled with stuff to do, as you guys know, and that, that golf cart project's kicking my ass, right? I said I would do it, but I won't get to it until later, and he's like, I'm not mowing any lawns anytime soon. As long as you get it to me before next spring, it'll be fine. So this is a uh, very recent uh, riding mower, uh, rear engine, and it's uh, not a lawn tractor, it's a riding mower, right? You guys know the difference. This is a Craftsman R1500. To my knowledge, Craftsman no longer makes any stuff ever since Sears went out of business, right? So MTD's been making these things for Craftsman. So this is really a MTD riding mower. You can tell because the engine theme of it looks just like the uh, crappy MTD power no more engines from Zongshen. And this, while it's not the 420cc one, it's the 382cc one, a smaller one for a riding mower. It's a nice, I mean, it looks nice, you know what I mean? And for small yards and stuff, this would do just fine. It's got a 30 inch cutting deck. And as you can see from this engine, it's almost a little offset. You guys see that? See, that's that's perfectly centered right there in parallel, right? But as you can see, the engine's is a little bit tilted to the right. As you see, it has the same color scheme as the power no more engine the 420 cc the one that i've had five or six of that have always been blown overhead valve and if you look at the sticker over here you can see the words zong shen zong shen is the company that um power no more or power more makes look under the seat it says uh craftsman but it's uh mtd and the data manufacturer is uh, April 20th, 2018. So this is a relatively new riding mower. Uh, it's only uh, about uh, three or four years old, three years old. It's interesting. I've never worked on anything like this before. I mean, this modern, you know what I mean? But I've worked on lots of riding mowers before. Had a lot of uh, Craftsman 30 inch ones. It's decent. Decent. I like it. It's cute. Anyway, so uh, before the spring, I need to get this tuned up for him. Mike also brought me this. This is from Mike. It's uh, the same mower that I have at my mom's house. And it's from a guy at the firehouse. And it comes with a bagger, which is awesome because this bagger, I believe, also fits the uh, coral recyclers. So comes with a bagger. I believe this is rear wheel drive, which it is, yeah. It's exactly like my mom's. This is the um, 6.5, XT 6.5 Kohler. 
Uh, it's missing this cover, which is a pain in the ass to find. Ooh! Free Whoppers! Bonus! Yeah, it needs a new cable. The, uh, drive cable. Not sorry, yeah. The, uh, bail engagement, bail handle cable is broken. Uh, pull rope starter handle's gone. I've got a stick now. <laughs> so this all also, oh, it's also missing the, uh, bail handle, you know? I think that's kind of hard to find. I don't think I have one. So this would, this will be, I mean, other than that, it's a pretty good mower, you know? Also, he brought me a Troy built backpack blower. This looks like it's in okay shape. I don't see anything wrong with the primer bulb. The carburetor looks pretty clean. It's got fuel in it. Uh, everything looks okay. Uh, just, you know, looking at it right away. What do you guys think? Should we try just pulling it since it has gas in it and all that? Maybe we should. Let me prime it. So I'm priming it now, and I was looking at the fuel, and it looks like it's clear fuel. Then I look over here, and it looks like a good, an oil reservoir. Is this a four-stroke backpack blower? Anyway, I have it on choke now. Uh, throttle's on a little bit. Let's just see. Nope. You know what? I don't think there's any compression. Feels really smooth. Oh, look at this. Two fingers, right? There's no compression on this thing. It's a shame too. Looks like it's in great shape. So those two things are from Mike. The backpack blower and the uh, lawn boy mower. He found them on the street, just gives it to me. Uh, I gave him some oil for the uh, winter. This is Pete's other tractor. He uh, picked it up years ago. It's been in his yard. He didn't want it anymore. Gave it to me. He doesn't know anything about it other than the fact that it's in his yard. <laughs> uh, anyway, it has a your standard 17.5 Briggs single cylinder. And uh, I don't know, it looks okay. Maybe we can get it started, whatever. It looks complete. Deck looks okay. The fuel line is disconnected. It's not bad. Uh, tires are all down and flat. It looks decent. It's got the uh, air cleaner covers there, which is useful. And I left it out here uh, last night. Oh, as you can see, it's a hydro. Deck looks decent. No rot. Uh, this is going to be an issue to get this together, right? Maybe I'll just replace it with another wheel or something so I don't have to put that on the bead. It's a pain in the butt. So I'm going to pump up the tires and try to roll this into the backyard because I can't leave it here all winter. Okay, I'm in my backyard now. What can I do? I got no place to put stuff now. That silly golf cart is in the driveway. My wife's gonna kill me. Look, I'm hiding stuff in between bushes now. Anyway, the uh, third thing that uh, Peep gave me is this thing. <laughs> it's a uh, Craftsman DLS 3500. He says this thing runs and drives. Uh, steering is a little hinky because he said he replaced some kind of a steering linkage or whatever. But it has no deck. He said the deck was completely dunsky. So uh, this engine is a oh, 20 horsepower Intec. That's not bad. I believe I have the cover over there, right? And so he said the linkages were kind of reversed or something like that. That drag link looks a little weird. But... Uh, Oh, it looks okay. Well, see? See how that touches? It's not supposed to touch, so I think he reversed it. It's supposed to be uh, that... This bump here is supposed to be on the bottom. But looks like it turns. Up to when it hits that thing, see? So you just have to reverse the uh, linkage. But the thing is, 
what am I gonna do with this thing anyway? Uh, it has no deck. So if it doesn't have a deck, right? It's a hauler. You guys know I've had good luck selling haulers, but I don't know. Anyway, so he gave me this. He gave me that green craftsman. And the deal is I just have to get his uh, 1500 riding mower um, running. So this looks just like my other beige one. Uh, this is a better hood. Maybe I should swap. No, it's not a better hood. <laughs> Never mind. So we'll see what happens with this. I don't know where I'm going to park this thing. But uh, right now we need to get that green one into the backyard somehow. Okay, I just pumped up the tires and looks like this one's on its way down already. So that one's a pretty bad leak. You seen anything that bad before? Um, has compression, I feel it is good. Maybe we'll get this one going as spring comes around. Use the other cover to the other one. The uh, beige one. Let's try to push this into the backyard. So here's what I have now. I have my uh, beige one that I fixed, the 10 billionth episode one, my Henry rebuilt color engine. That actually starts and runs pretty good. I might even use it now to mow the lawn. Uh, Rodimus Prime sitting there, trailer. Thank goodness I have nothing here. I used to. There was one time I went through a winter with like 25 tractors. I put the new beige one, the hauler, without the deck here. Managed to roll the green one in here. I need to get a snowblower going. This thing runs and drives. Stuff there. All right, well, that's it. I might have to mow this lawn. And then there's this. What do I do about this? As you can see, my garage is packed with my Toro 616Z. It has to be here because I have the bagger system on here and it won't fit in the backyard. So I have to park this here. Uh, I'm not gonna keep this in the garage either until spring, right? Until I finish the golf cart project. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to move this to the back. While I don't want to, I have to. Now he says this runs and drives, so maybe we could just drive it to the backyard. What do you think? I don't know how this works, actually. Uh, this is to engage, I think. Let me go backwards. All right, well, you know what? Let's just, uh, oh, there it is. The shifter's in the middle here. Is there a choke? It should be a choke. I don't see a choke, fellas. So I don't know how it's going to start. A little bit getting used to do that. I don't know what a key is. Oh, key's over there. Alright, well, I'll see a choke. Try it. I love that. Okay. Getting the gas. 
a pickle. I guess I'm just gonna have to roll this into the backyard. It's not getting any gas, see? So the lawn has some leaves on it. It wasn't completely filled with leaves, so I just mulched the leaves. Mincing the leaves is kind of good for the lawn, you know? I'm gonna wait until it all bunches up to, to a big bunch of leaves on the lawn before I use my 616 and suck them all up. So I went through the whole uh, backyard, the front yard with that beige one. It had uh, the starter hang up on it a few times. I'd take the cover off just to move the flywheel so it would not hang up. I need to fix that before next spring, you know? Uh, Maybe put some shims between the starter because I think it's too high or too low, one of those things. But anyway, uh, that's me getting the, the new load of stuff I got last night from Mike from Mike Lawn Service Babylon and his friend Pete. Thanks a lot. And uh, I'll get to Pete's uh, mower someday as soon as I get done with the uh, golf cart project. It's going to take a while. Uh, anyway, that's it for today. Just uh, cleaning up the load. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. If you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers really appreciate all the support also to keep the videos coming every day support the channel bye